Hey everybody, happy Tuesday. Hope you've been enjoying the lovely weather that we've had here. Um, we've had some really hot days, so I hope you've been able to keep cool. Um, today we are starting topic 14 in your math book. So if you don't have your math book with you, you'll need to go grab it. And we are doing graphs and data, or graphs and data. That's one of those words you can say either way, kind of like tomato, tomato, potato, potato. If you don't know that song, it's an older song, and maybe your parents know it, but anyhow, there are some vocabulary words that go with this unit, and I am very happy to report you can be excited because you will think this work is easy cheesy for you. You have done the hard work of your math units, so I promise that this week's unit and then next week's unit where we're wrapping up, um, they're going to be pretty easy cheesy for you, and I think you're really going to like them. So this week you have these vocabulary words. You have data, which is also known as data, D-A-T-A. -A. You have line plot, a bar graph, picture graph, and symbol. And I am willing to bet you know what some of these words already mean, and you have already done work with some of these words. You have my word cards, which are the purple vocabulary cards in your unit. They are on page... 801 and 802. That's big numbers. You know we're toward the end of the book, right? 801 and 802. So if you look at those word cards, you'll be able to study the front of the card and then put the words on the back of the card to match. But let me just go through these with you to make sure that you understand what the words are before we jump in. Your words again, data, or you can say data, line plot, bar graph, picture graph, and symbol. Symbol is an easy one because you see them all the time. So if I drew you a heart, it's a symbol that means love. If I drew you this symbol, that stands for peace. If you were out at a store or at a shop, you might see this symbol. It means no smoking. Okay. So we see symbols all over the place. A symbol is a picture or a character that stands for something else. It's a picture or a character that stands for something. In math, we have lots of symbols, don't we? And you will be using lots of different kinds of symbols here in this unit. A line plot uses dots above a number line to show data. So we have just discovered that we can use centimeters or inches uh, on a ruler and that that looked an awful lot like just an open number line and now you're going to see something that looks very much like that a ruler or an open number line and you're going to put dots above the number that's called a line plot you're plotting along a line the data is the information that you're collecting a bar graph uses bars to show the data do you hear bar graph in the definition of uses bars to show data. So if I were you, when you get to that page on 802, and you see that a blank uses bars to show data, you could circle the word bars right in there and know that that's a bar graph. Uh, the one where it says uses dots above the number line to show data, that's a line plot. Data is the information you collect. A picture graph uses, guess what? Pictures to show data. And a blank is a picture or a character that stands for something, that's the word symbol. Okay, so once you get your vocab cards done, you're going to turn to 14-1, which starts on page 803. It says to find four objects that are shorter than nine inches. Record the length to the nearest inch, and then put it in the table, and then you're going to plot the data on the number line. Okay. So remember, you're going to just put dots above. So let me just draw a little picture of what that's going to look like. So you have your number line. Four. So as you're measuring, you are going to be putting dots above. So say I measured a crayon that was four inches long, and I measured a paper clip that's one inch long, it would look like this. See how I just got to draw a dot above the number? That's what you're going to be doing. Okay. 
you'll notice that in 14-1 you get to find some objects, but then they give you other objects that you'll need to measure. So um, if they give you the measurement already, all you're doing is putting the dot above it on the line, but if they don't give it to you, you actually have to measure it first. So get out those rulers from before and you can get to work on that. 14-2 um, is simply more line plots. So hey, guess what you get to do? More line plots. Um, the only thing that I would show you before you get started on that is say I measured um, a crayon, and remember I showed you this, and it was four. Say I measured, uh, say I had one of those chubby little markers and it was also four, that's what I would do, okay? And then maybe I measured um, an eraser that I had and it was one, that's what I would do, okay? So see how it goes right on top of each other? Okay, so for today, you're just doing 14-1 and 14-2 and you are plotting line plots. If you have any questions, let me know.